So hello and welcome back to the new video of the JUnit tutorial series. So today in this video we'll be learning about annotations in JUnit, right? So uh, in our previous video uh, as well as uh, previous tutorial series, uh, as you might have seen uh, that we have written writing this add test uh, so many times before uh, creating the method that is uh, test case. So what what is what actually does it means writing the add test and what are the what are all different uh, annotations that are there inside JUnit? So we'll be looking uh, in one by one in this video. Okay. So first annotation is add before class. So uh, this annotation is used to initialize an object, initialize an object that we use in our running test cases. Whenever we initialize an, an any object in before class method, it would be invoked only once. Okay, so this add before class, uh, the method that you are writing uh, after this add before and add before class annotation, this would be uh, invoked only and only once. The primary purpose of add before class JUnit annotation is to execute some statements before all the test cases mentioned in the script. Okay, so uh, the this is the uh, add before class. So we can use that. So add before annotations. Okay. So this annotation is used uh, whenever we want to initialize any object for the time the method is being called. Okay. So suppose we are, we are having five test cases, right? So the before method will be called before each test method for the five times. So it would be invoked every time the test cases is executed. This annotation is used, usually used for the setting up the test environment. So if you want to set up the test environment, you can use the add before an annotation so that uh, each time your test cases will uh, will be executed. But before that, this method will get executed and your uh, environment will get set up. Okay. So next is add test. So uh, this annotation tells the JUnit that the public void method to which it is attached can be run as a test case. This annotation includes the test method for an application that you want to test. A single automated automation test scripts may comprise numerous test methods in it. Okay, so this is the use of the add test annotation. We get, we, you can see over here, uh, uh, here as well. Uh, we get, we have written this add test, and after that we have written a method, which is which is our test case, right? So this uh, this is the use of the add test uh, annotation in JUnit. So okay, so the next is add after. Uh, whatever we initialize in add before annotation method that initialization should be released in add after annotation method okay so this annotation is ex executed every time after each test method the primary purpose of the add uh, uh, after annotation is to tear down tear down is a process of deleting the temporary data tear down can also be used to define a default values or to wipe the slate clean to test the environment okay so uh, we have seen add before where we are setting up the our environment and we are initializing some variables okay so those variables we have to uh, tear down uh, okay so for that we can use the add after so we can uh, use that add after and we can define one method where we are cleaning up our uh, environment and the variable that we have created for the testing purposes in that test method right so again we have uh, after class whatever we initialize in add before class annotation method that initialization should be released in after add after class annotation method so this annotation is executed once but it will be executed after all the test cases has been finished executing okay so it is kind of similar like add after uh, add, add before class we are uh, we are we have add before class where we are setting up our class and here add after class we are uh, tearing down our all those uh, resources that we are uh, assigned or created uh, to testing purposes right so we have uh, at ignore this annotation tells the JUnit that this method shall not be executed in the scenarios where our code module is not ready in a particular test cases we have we can temporarily put that code module in 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 and ignore annotation method to avoid the test case failure native uh, there is a catch native j unit 4 uh, offers powerful reporting to help you realize the count of the test that that were ignored along with the count of test that run and count of the test that failed okay so this is the uh, at ignore annotation which is uh, pretty useful where where your uh, code is not ready and you, you are writing that 
test cases okay so they, these are the some important uh, j unit annotations uh, that you you need to understand uh, and you can uh, use that annotation to write uh, your test cases according to your uh, uses okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one